So we're here at the ID TechX show, and hi, so who are you? I'm Adam Ramjan, uh, CEO and co-founder of Orion Additive Manufacturing. So Orion Additive Manufacturing, uh, so what are you doing? What is this? So we developed a proprietary 3D printer for printing with high-performance polymers or aerospace-grade polymers such as PEAK, Ultim, uh, polyphenol sulfone, and, and um, polycarbonates as well. So is it special materials? So these are special materials that exhibit uh, extremely high qualities such as high strength, high temperature resistance, and chemical resistance. So they're typically used in industrial applications, in aerospace, or uh, for medical applications as well. But it's not easy to 3D print, or are you the only ones who can do it? Uh, we're one of very few companies that are able to do this well. <coughs> uh, this is a very difficult uh, material to process because of its high temperature, but also because peak, for example, is a semi-crystalline material and uh, it has its best mechanical properties as a crystalline structure, but this requires a very high temperature environment in order to print with it properly. So what we did is we developed a proprietary process that's able to print this material, not just with crystalline structure, but also with uh, much better interlayer bonding. So just to show you an example, this is a test bar that we printed, and uh, without the proper settings, when you bend it, you hear this cracking, and you get delamination of these layers, but when you get uh, the parameters fine-tuned as in our printer, when we bend these parts, they don't delaminate. So you get much better interlayer bonding and you get um, mechanical properties that are similar to injection molding. So much more uniform isotropic strength. Uh, so what does it say here? Um, are these the materials there? What is that? So these are some of the materials you can work with. The mic. Yeah. So uh, we primarily focus on peak and peak variants such as PEIC and PEC but we also print with other high-performance materials such as uh, polyphenol sulfone, which is known as PPSU or PPSF, and Ultim, which is a uh, PEI, copolymer material. Is this your printer? And this is our printer that we're just uh, finishing developing right now. Uh, and we're filing it our prints patents. right here in the middle? Yes, uh, exactly. So the, the prints are uh, just right, right here inside of this uh, heated chamber. Uh, so we're just finishing our development and we plan on releasing this printer in, uh, by the end of 2019. So, um, uh, have you been involved with 3D printing for a while or? Yeah, so I have maybe five years of experience with additive manufacturing. I've been designing and building 3D printers uh, um, since five years ago. And just uh, around two years ago we started working with material suppliers for Peak and developing this industrial 3D printer. Uh, specialized for printing with high-performance polymers. Is additive manufacturing, is that another word for 3D printing? or what, yes. what, is the, what is the idea of the additive? You adding into stuff the small parts that are missing? or uh, So additive manufacturing is just to contrast it with subtractive manufacturing, which has um, been known as more the traditional way of manufacturing, which is by removing material. So the benefits of additive manufacturing are that uh, you don't waste as much material because you're just adding the material that you need. But uh, I would say that additive manufacturing is more commonly used in industry to try to differentiate it from the consumer industry, which was um, uh, more commonly uh, known as 3D printing. So are you part of the Berlin uh, um, team here? Yes, exactly. So uh, we're, we're actually part of this network called the Innovation Network for Advanced Materials, otherwise known as INEM, and they're also supported by Berlin Partner. So, so you're based in Berlin? We're based in Berlin, correct. And uh, how many people are in the company? Uh, we're just a small company at the moment. Right now, we're uh, three people working on our team. So we have uh, what do the different expert. people do? Uh, so we have a materials expert uh, who focuses on material development, and uh, we also have uh, our CTO, uh, who is an electronics engineer, focusing on the microcontroller and motion control of our systems. And uh, I'm a mechanical engineer who's focused more on the mechanical aspects of our 3D printer. Is the uh, motion control and uh, the PCB, is it just a standard one from a 3D printer or something very special about it? Right, so we actually developed our own uh, motion control systems. Uh, and what we have in our motion control system is uh, more of a closed loop control. So we have much more precise, uh, accurate motion uh, in, 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 inside of our 3D printing system, uh, as well as um, more accurate uh, sensor technology. So we're, we're using thermal couples as opposed to more faulty uh, thermistors. So we use very, very high quality components in our, in our um, microcontroller board. 